Hey guys, back again with another can review. Today we're checking out the Water's End Hookers and Coxwinds. All right, well, let's dive right into this one. Uh, so yeah, this is from Water's End. We just picked up a Crowler. They were nice enough to give us one when we left our big brew review. So this is a IPA. It's a West Coast style IPA. It actually has some verbiage on the back, which you don't really see a lot of when they do Crowlers. Sometimes they just get a blank can. This one says, uh, Hookers and Coxwinds, West Coast IPA. This beer starts with a blast of juice and finishes with a balanced piney bitterness that is typical of the style, 5.3%. It's got a really uh, golden color to it. Nice thick head too. Yeah, looks good, smells good. I'm not getting a lot of like, I guess a typical citra hop smell. Yeah, it's not like super intense. Yeah, it doesn't smell like, like a big bold IPA or anything like that. Yeah. I don't know, let's dive in and see what happens. Cheers. That's bitter, but it finishes really clean. It doesn't linger on your tongue. Definitely getting that West Coast IPA bitterness. Yeah, typically West Coast IPAs are, you know, in the above 7% range. Yeah. With alcohol. I would almost consider this to be a session IPA. I mean, that's really, yeah. it's sessionable for sure. Five, under five and a half, that's pretty light much more flavor than a lot of other IPAs that we have that claim that they're IPAs. That is true. Look okay, at you guys, make better beer. So yeah, I think this is a really good beer. I mean, I would definitely drink this like all the time. Yeah, Coming could, up in the hotter months, it's gonna be a nice choice. Yeah, I could definitely drink this pretty much like every day. I drink a lot of Founders All Day IPA just because it's cheap and accessible and it's a good beer. Um, and. If I could find this in cans, that would overtake that beer for me because this does have more like hop, like juicy hop flavor. Yes. Uh, it's a little bit less bitter than the Founders All Day, um, but what it lacks in that bitterness, it makes up for it like a little bit more body and yes. like lower yeah. carbonation. It's definitely, it tastes like a bolder beer. If you're in the Northern Virginia area, I would definitely recommend stopping by Waters and trying all they have to offer. They definitely uh, make some great beers, and this is just another example of um, some of the quality work that they've been putting in. Great beer. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. Some of the proceeds go to the local rowing club That's what organization. It is. Yeah. So, hence the name, it, Hookers and Coxswains Hat is row, rowing terminology. Don't know what it means. We're not rowers. But, but we know beer, and this beer is good. All right, well that does it for us. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and tap that bell button for notifications when new videos come out. Until next time, stay crafty. Cheers. That does it for us. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and gently tap that bell button notification. <laughs> okay, well that does it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me try that one more time. Change shirts. Next beer.